Hello again. Well, um, I entertained myself today by taking apart an old DVD burner that I wasn't using anymore. Um, I've seen videos on YouTube on how to extract the laser diodes from a DVD burner and uh, did so. Um, as I found out, or as I confirmed, there are two laser diodes uh, in my drive anyway and um, I lucked out. The first one that I um, worked on was the red one. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, if anything, with the infrared, but it's in the parts bin just in case I decide to clean it up someday and play around with it. But anyway, um, I just uh, decided to do something quick and dirty, so I modified the uh, little 9 volt battery adapter to give me 3 volts and uh, have it hooked up through this momentary contact switch and uh, I don't want to run this for too long because it's probably um, giving it way too much current but it just was convenient to do for testing purposes and so as you can see uh, when I press the button it lights up and it's uh, it's pretty bright I uh, understand now that I need to get a, a uh, mount with a lens for the laser diode so it'll focus the beam and uh, ultimately, uh, you know, I'm hoping to work this up to maybe being a, a cutter or an engraver on a uh, 2D machine. And uh, I don't know, um, work up to getting something strong enough if this one isn't to start, you know, cutting, cutting plywood, things like that, and fabricating my own parts. So anyway, it was kind of a fun way to spend the day and get some other cool parts that I... Uh, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with. I might uh, be desoldering some of these parts and using them. My wife was happy to get some of the scraps for her art, and uh, we got several neat little magnets uh, out of the out of the deal. So, yeah, kind of kind of fun. I'm looking forward to doing more with it. Anyway, um, it wasn't too hard. Just watch a video, and uh, hopefully you'll have the same kind of luck that I did.